In the last task, you saw how to examine the parcel layer with several topology rules, and in this task, I'll edit the parcel layer to eliminate those errors. First, I'll work on the duplicate geometries, and one feature of the topology checker is that I can select an error in the topology checker panel, double-click on it, and it'll zoom me to that location. So here I have a duplicated parcel, and I can use the Identify tool and click on it and see that I indeed have two duplicate polygons occupying that space. I'll use the Select Features by Rectangle tool to select that parcel, and I'll open up the attribute table for it. And in the bottom left, I'll switch this toggle to just show the selected features. So you can see by selecting that parcel, I selected both records, and you can see all the attributes are identical. I'm going to click the pencil to put this into edit mode. I'm going to select the record with the higher number and click the delete feature button. Then I'll click the toggle off and click save. And I've eliminated that one. I can now validate the extent where this one error occurred and it disappears. So I fixed that one error. In the lab, you'll repeat this procedure for the remaining duplicate geometries. Let me zoom back out to my original extent and I'll rerun the topology checker. To fix the remainder, I'll need to set my snapping tolerances, which will make my editing significantly easier and more precise. So to do this, I'll go to the menu bar and I'll choose Settings, Snapping Options. I'm going to set the mode to Advanced, which gives me more choices. And I'll uncheck the bus stops and the bus routes. So I'll, I'll just be snapping to the parcels layer. I'm going to set the mode for the parcels to vertex and segment, and the tolerance to 10 map units. I'm also going to check the enable topological editing setting and the enable snapping on intersection. Topological editing maintains common boundaries in polygon mosaics. With this option checked, QGIS detects a shared boundary in a polygon mosaic, and you only have to move the vertex once, and QGIS will take care of updating the other boundary. There's one more setting I need to take care of, so I'll click OK to accept these settings. And I'm going to go back to the settings menu, and this time choose options, and I'll click on the digitizing tab. I want to make sure this search radius for vertex edits is set to 10, which it is. Setting this to something other than 0 ensures that QGIS finds the correct vertex when editing. So I'll click OK with that setting done. Next, I'm going to adjust the transparency of the parcels layer so I can more easily see the overlapping parcels. So I'm going to double click on the parcels layer and from the style tab, I'll just use the transparency slider to put this up to about 50% and click OK. Another feature of the topology checker panel is this show errors toggle. So I can uncheck this and it doesn't highlight the errors in red, which makes things a little easier when I'm dealing with a situation like a sliver of an overlap. I'm going to work on this overlap with the feature ID of 624. So I'll double click on that to zoom to the area. And with the errors turned off and the transparency set, I can see this overlap issue. So here this westernmost parcel boundary needs to be moved to the west so that it's not overlapping with this eastern parcel. I'm going to put this back into edit mode. I'll right click on the layer and choose toggle editing from the context menu. And then I'm going to use the select feature by rectangle tool and select this westernmost parcel. And you can see when the layer is in edit mode, you get these red X's at the vertices. Now on the editing toolbar, I'm going to choose this node tool, which allows me to move individual feature vertices. I'll click on this upper right vertex. And when I have it selected, it turns blue. And I'll drag that vertex until it snaps to this vertex over here. I'll repeat this procedure in the lower corner. And once I have these snapped to their neighboring vertices, this error should be fixed. I'll click the Validate Extent button, unselect my feature, and I've taken care of that one overlap. I can see there's still this one other issue with this parcel. There's a tiny overlap in the northwest corner. This is a very small overlap and can't really be seen at this scale. To resolve this, I'll simply select the affected vertices with the node tool and snap them back into place. The overlap so small, I won't actually see them move. However, the overlap will be resolved due to the topological editing setting.
I'll choose validate extent. I fixed part of it. I still have to adjust a little bit. Okay, so I've clicked Validate Extent again, and I can see that the error has been resolved. I'll unselect all the features, and the remaining overlaps can be fixed in the same fashion. Finally, I'll work on one of the gap errors. So I'm going to return to my full extent. I'm going to take this out of edit mode for the moment, so I don't have all those red X's, and I'll save my edits. And I'll choose Validate All again. Once I have my full list of errors, I'm going to choose a gap error with the feature ID of 0. So I've double clicked on this error to zoom to it and you can see there's a small sliver between these parcels. So I'm going to put this parcel layer back into edit mode now and I'm going to select this northernmost parcel. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see the error a little better and with the node tool I'm going to select this vertex and snap it to the one below. Now I'll click validate extent. I've got one more little gap right here Again, this is so small, I'll just use the node tool to adjust the vertice. Choose validate extent again. Pan up to the north and fix that end of it. So again, with the node tool, select this vertex and just snap it into place. and the error has been taken care of. The remaining gap errors can be repaired in the same way. So sometimes there's a little back and forth uh, moving vertices until they snap into place and the error disappears, especially with these very small ones that are difficult to see. But with a little bit of tinkering and using the node tool, you should be able to resolve those errors. So in this lab, you learned how to test the integrity of your vector data with topology rules. These rules can involve features in two different layers or can be set to test the features in a single layer. There's different rules for points, lines, and polygon features. You also learned how topological editing can resolve the issues found.